Welcome to Eek a Little Babies. Hey everyone, welcome to Eager Little Beavers, where we dive deep into the art and science of parenting. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our community of thoughtful, proactive parents. Today we're exploring a powerful concept that's revolutionising the way we connect with our children, co-regulation. This isn't just a buzzword, it's a lifeline in moments of emotional turmoil and a bridge to deeper understanding between you and your little ones. Whether it's dealing with a supermarket meltdown or the nightly challenge of bedtime, co-regulation is your go-to strategy for maintaining peace and nurturing your child's ability to handle emotions. Stick around as we break down what co-regulation means, how it fits into gentle parenting and practical steps to implement it. You'll see real-life applications that not only calm the stormy moments, but also build your child's emotional resilience. So let's get started and turn those tricky parenting moments into opportunities for growth and connection. Ready to transform your parenting approach? Let's dive right in. Imagine your child has a meltdown at the supermarket or is upset about not getting dessert at a restaurant. Your instinct might be to scold, but there's a more compassionate way to handle these moments. This is where co-regulation comes into play. Co-regulation isn't about controlling your child's emotions. Instead, it's about guiding them to understand and manage their feelings. Mona Delahook, a renowned child psychologist, explains that kids are still developing their ability to self-regulate and handle life's disappointments. Children haven't developed the full circuitry to manage complex emotions. Co-regulating your child supports them through this process helping build resilience and emotional intelligence. So how do we put co-regulation into practice? Here are three key steps. First, calm yourself down. Before you respond to your child, take a deep breath and your calmness is crucial because your child tunes into your emotional state and learns from it. Step two, approach with calmness. Keep your voice gentle, your expression soft, this shows your child that you're in control and not overwhelmed by their emotions. And the third step is to acknowledge their emotions and maintain boundaries. It's important to validate their emotions while also reaffirming any rules or limits. For example, you might say, I see you're upset because you want the toy, but we're not buying it today. Let's find something else fun to do when we get home. By doing this, you're not only keeping the situation under control, but also teaching your child valuable skills in managing their own emotions. Remember, the goal isn't to suppress their emotions, but to help them navigate through them. This approach reduces stress hormones and enhances their ability to cope with challenges. Co-regulation can make an incredible difference in your child's emotional development. It helps them grow into resilient, thoughtful and balanced individuals. Thanks for joining us today. Embrace the journey of gentle parenting and watch your little ones thrive. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with fellow parents. We'd love to hear how co-regulation has worked for you. So leave your stories in the comments below. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for more interesting and informative parental support.